Well, now we're starting for real. Now we're starting, Adam. So you're being docked your pay you're, for this break. Um, I wonder what kind of what he's going to do in the bathroom. Probably look at for, for look at pictures of guys on his phone. Let's. I guess he left his phone here. Let's see. Whoa! What, look at his um favorites. Yeah. Look at his all his. What the hell? I'm gonna. I'm. I'm typing in codes until his phone erases. <laughs> You're just gonna lock him out forever. Uh, no, it's, iPhone is disabled. <laughs> Try again in a minute. <laughs> Good luck looking at your phone now. Hopefully, Adam gets here in a minute, or else we'll do it again. Yeah, for a minute. I did that to George. He, Dude, when you're, we were, you're watching Jackass. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, wow, 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 wow. Is, oh, I guess that's King of the Hill. This is press buttons on a phone until the phone is going to work. <laughs> Yeah, we're here. We got April's phone. We got April's phone. It's it's three thirty a.m. and April's about to get up for work. She's a nurse that has to drive into New York to take care of retarded kids with COVID. And we're we're gonna we're gonna press buttons on her phone until she gets into a car accident, <laughs> driving to the hospital. We're pressing the emergency button on nine one one. We're called nine one one. Nine one on people's phones, so they get in trouble. Yeah, I, my name is Adam Marger, and I'm a faggot. <laughs> Boop. You know, I just told the police I'm gay. I, yeah, this is this is jackass, and this is call the police on Adam's phone and tell them that he's gay. The guy who owns his phone is gay. Yeah, we t- we're calling the police on Adam for being gay. <laughs> Bow, wow, wow. Oh, sh- here he comes. He's. Oh, we did. The police. <laughs> tell him. Stop. Tell him what we did. We didn't do nothing. We Wait. didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> nothing happened. If, if the, the police, police come and arrest <laughs> you for being gay, that's because they had an investigation going. I'm sorry. I thought that was a magnifying glass, but it's a router. <laughs> it's, a, it's a router for the computer. Oh, it's my bad. I thought it was a magnifying glass. <laughs> I was going to look at your dick. <laughs> this is. It's 5 a.m. and we're looking at Phil's dick. <laughs> we're not going to wake him up. We're, gonna, this we're is, just going to look at his dick. I'm Bam Marcher. This is look at Phil's penis. Look at my own father's penis. This is look at Phil's penis while he's asleep. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's 11 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> And Phil's asleep. This is night vision. <laughs> it's twelve thirty in the afternoon. <laughs> Phil's taking a little Phil's nap. taking a nap, and we're looking at his penis. <laughs> Bam! What are y'all doing over there? Come on, Bam! Stop taking a peek at my dick. Come on, Bam! Don't don't, look don't at my pink penis. don't pink at my dick. <laughs> don't pink at it. Why are you pinking at my dink when I'm trying to slump? <laughs> Dude, Phil, Phil used to look exactly like Bam. Yeah, he just gains twenty pounds every year. Young Phil, mm-hmm. young Phil looked exactly. Oh, I like gotta Bam. see this. Mm-hmm. And Phil and Bam was about to look. It's like, gonna be funny when old Stavros looks like ironic Stavros. That dude, absolutely. First of all, there is no ironic. I've transcended that. Yeah, yeah. I'm all. I'm one in the same, brother. Yeah, yeah. You live in New York long enough, and then you just you become. Yeah. The same people are like, oh, what are you like a New York hipster? And it's like, no, you guys, we come up with it. Yep. Uh-huh. And then you in, pretend to be us. In 10 years. To be gay by When you're to be bald funny. with a gun. <laughs> yeah, dude. Absolutely. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, this look is going to sweep the nation. Yeah. Yeah. yeah mm-hmm. You're you're at the vanguard of a new trend. Abs- I'm not even joking. I guarantee you I the am. The wide goatee. <laughs> wide goatee. <laughs> hair like Frasier. <laughs> I'm giving myself a sling blade haircut. <laughs> I'm going sling blade haircut yeah. and, and mesh trucker hat. Love it. Nick is oh hell yeah. Nick Von has like Dutch. A, a prison look. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Dude, it's time. <laughs> it's time to bring back Von Dutch. Von Dutch. It's time to bring back the stuff that was popular when we first yeah. started jacking off. Phil's uh-huh. asleep, and we're dressing him up in Von Dutch clothes. <laughs> <laughs> so when he goes to work, everybody's like, Whoa, what the hell is this, 2004? <laughs> <laughs> well, who's this showing up to the factory? Is it Ashton Kutcher? Well, who's this Kevin Federline? Is it fun? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, here comes Kate Fed. <laughs> <laughs> Which, by the way, one of the most one of the finesse lords of all time. Yeah, just Kevin Federline. G- getting, oh, man. getting getting top tier triple A pussy <laughs> in the prom. 
Tom, ruining it, and then getting fat as hell. <laughs> getting paid, baby. <laughs> and getting the kids, Absolutely. too. Absolutely. You know who's honestly the finesse Hall of Famer of all time? Is Paul George's current, I believe, fiance. He, she, he got her pregnant while she was a stripper. Mm-hmm. He was dating uh, Doc R- Callie Rivers, Doc Rivers. Who's now daughter, married to Seth Curry. Who's now married to Seth Curry. Yeah. Uh, he got a stripper pregnant, offered her a million dollars to have an abortion. <laughs> she said no. Oh, and then, God. uh, and then he sued for custody of the kid. She, he lost. And then somehow they ended up having another kid together and now they're dating. You know she what? fucking did it, dude. She, they got to retire her fucking heels at the strip club. You know what? She's crazy, but he loves her. <laughs> Spam or Shara. It's 3 a.m. and this is reading Goosebumps on you know, under the covers. <laughs> I'm in my bedroom. This is getting scared at Goosebumps. I'm, I'm reading. It came from beneath the sink <laughs> under the covers. I got a flashlight. <laughs> And I'm fucking scared. I just learned how to read again. I'm learning how I'm relearning how to read. <laughs> I'm relearning how to skate <laughs> and for, how to read. I forgot. I somehow forgot how to read the English language. <laughs> I spent too much time in Iceland remembering my dead friends. <laughs> I, spent, <laughs> I spent too much time learning him tabs. Him, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I spent too much time drawing hardograms. <laughs> Shouts out. What's he up to, man? He's got to come back on the show. He does. Bam. He yeah. has to be comfortable. I think he's thriving. He probably doesn't remember doing the show. I don't don't think he does. That was so wild. He was like just gone. Dude. You know what? The next day his entire life fell apart. Yeah. (laughs) He was on TMT. (laughs) Slapping that fucking loser, his manager or whatever. That was so fucking funny. It says so much that he probably doesn't remember. And for me, it was one of the best days of my entire life. Dude, I'm telling my children about (laughs) it. It was a highlight. It was a a high point of my life. I mean, Gene Gene was the highlight. Gene changed my life. Oh, Who's I just, a fuck about Bam Marshall? No, I care, but it was I, a double. That's what's so beautiful about it. Wait, yeah. can Gene I... Gene plus Bam in the same day? Dude. Can well, I, d- I cared until I found out shortly after that that he was going to do Brandon Sagalow's podcast also. No, he wasn't. Yeah, he was. And then he had the meltdown, and that's what ruined it. Yep, that's right. Well, guess we, what he we didn't made do? Him, we made him... He so, didn't do Sagalow's so podcast. So it, it was... Yeah, well, he didn't. That's yeah, right. We cock blocked him. Sorry, not that sorry, I have a pro- Not that I have a problem no, with No, we Sag. love Sagalow, but let's be honest. But, you know... I mean, if he's doing multiple podcasts in one day, exactly. If yeah. he's doing, if he's doing, if we're getting guests that can do SAG's podcast, I yeah. mean, what are we fucking a couple of fags? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait, you we? might as well call call my, me, my, me call us Nick, Adam, and Stavros Fagalo. You might as well call us the Fag Crew. <laughs> 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 if that's what I can't wait to, uh-huh. I can't wait till Sagalo just gets so many tweets for no reason. And he's like, What? What's the fag crew? <laughs> yeah. Shouts out, Brandon. I just want to do a plug real quick. Gene started a podcast. It's called Straight Talk with Gene Denopoli. <laughs> He said he was going to do that for a while. Yeah, so he was like, serious? I was saying it's a couple what, it's of all, guys from the old neighborhood. It's not and it's a, just we just talk about Italian stuff. <laughs> yeah, he said that to us. No, he said really? yeah because it's got everything. It's got uh, New York for no, fans. That was, of New no, York. no, that's that was, a different. That's a different thing. Oh, that's okay. his reality. It was just well, not that was to give out, not to give away too much. That was his reality show pitch that involved Italian or Elvis and so. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Gene's doing his. <laughs> he's got Italian fans, he's got New York fans, and I'm Elvis. Yeah, and I'm Elvis. Yeah. <laughs> What's? I'm sorry. Can you finish Gene's the plug? Gene's doing his podcast. It's at eight thirties, eight thirty on Monday nights on Facebook Live, and I don't think that's a podcast, but, but is it released anywhere it, else? He's calling it. Uh, yeah, he. He posts the whole thing to Instagram. Awesome. So he posts like a two hour just selfie video of himself. Um, I, I listen to some of it. You know, the guy's got it. He's been in entertainment for long enough. I miss him. God damn, dude. I miss Gene. We got to have him. But back. I told him, I told him, uh, on Instagram DMs that I would plug it on the show. Give awesome. him a little bump. So everyone get, everyone show, show some out. love to Gene. All love to Gene. All love to Gene. He's he was one. Of, he's one of the greatest people I've ever met. Yo, we're taking a look at Gene's penis. <laughs> <laughs> we got we're sneaking into his house and we're looking at his penis. We're look. We we're stealing his pubes <laughs> from the garbage. I rode the Staten Island ferry the other night and I went in the bathroom, and somebody had just left 
a po- just all their pubes. That's awesome. <laughs> Wait, Trimming your shaved, cock hair. Yeah, on the right, side <laughs> right before, right before it get, you got cleaned it up, before you go get some trim. <laughs> uh, some Staten Island just going out, tang. Out, uh, getting that Shaolin pussy. Mm-hmm. Going out to the islands to get some pussy. Absolutely. I brother. love that. I love that. That fucking rules, dude. Mm-hmm. Have you ever trimmed your hair in public, Adam? Uh, no, I can't say. I we'll have. talk about it le- a little later. Say at the twenty minute mark. Okay. Oh right. yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. I think that's a great idea to talk about that. Um, Sounds good. Nick and I on the way here, we saw a very confusing assortment of bumper stickers on a car. What do we got? It was four USMC crests. Okay. Marine four Corps. Marine Corps crests. What was it, Nick? The app, the free sticker that comes with Apple mm-hmm. with your products. Well, awesome. Um, the man is a user of the Apple, the also Apple experience. Also, f- fuck uh, QuickBooks payments for yeah, stealing. That's on record. Twelve hundred dollars for us. I know that's not a thing that anyone who's listening to the show is going to use. Yeah. But, no, absolutely. But not. a hard fuck them. Unless yeah. QuickBooks starts making like a an, an uh, diet energy drink, right? I mm-hmm. think nobody listening to this show if is going to use that. If there's a way to harass QuickBooks <laughs> payments, uh-huh. yes, for once, do something good. With yeah. your fucking trolling. I don't know how. <laughs> <laughs> or even what, in, in any capacity, uh-huh. but fuck that company. Who forever. owns it? Quicken? Is it? Is it's it all, Dan it's a company, Gilbert? It's all a company so. called Intuit that Intuit that owns lobbies it. the government to keep taxes complicated so they can continue robbing people. Oh boy! Well, well, the should. reason taxes are complicated is because they pay books. they pay lobbyists so that their oh. software stays relevant. So you heard, yep. So if you want to do, if you want to harass them or you want to do a old Tyler Durden type of mm-hmm. situation. Yeah. You know, whatever that is. If you want to start you, a fight club or whatever, you know. Yeah. Yeah, this is, this is having gay sex. If you want to set the world on fire. <laughs> That's all it is? Yeah. This is having gay sex. <laughs> Stop whispering. You know, I was thinking about like how, you know, like uh, teachers get caught for pretending to be black or Afro Latino. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Free Jessica Krug or whatever her name right. is. Right, but mm-hmm. then, then, but they're they're always doing that, right? There's always like some woke professor that's like on Twitter. It's it's professors shouldn't have Twitter. I think that's for sure. Pro- yeah, it's Probably. so annoying when professor because you know what it is. It's the distillation of professors trying to be cool. Right. When you're on Twitter, that's like the fucking e version of like putting a chair. Can I have backwards. one of those bananas? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. It really telegraphs that you're trying to get some 18 year old pussy. Absolutely. But how about yeah. a professor that's like, he gets outed because he's been pretending to be gay. Mm-hmm. He's on social media. He's like, I love Karl Marx. Yeah. There's nothing I love more than the thing we, we need to, what we need to do is make sure that straight people don't. And then people are like, how about this video from, of you from five years ago where you're like, I tell you, there's nothing I love more than Red Lobster. <laughs> yeah. I, I get there. those cheese biscuits uh-huh. and then I pound Is this my you? wife's pussy. A lot of things have changed since then. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you could you could say you late in life. See, that's the flaw yeah. in your plan. You could say late in life, mm-hmm. I became gay. I became gay. I'm gay. I'm gay. <laughs> I'm gay. <laughs> George, Jerry. I'm having gay sex. <laughs> I'm sucking up, guys. Sucking off guys? You can't be sucking off guys, Jerry. All right. Wait, let me finish the stickers. But I'm having gay sex. Two Sunoco gas station stickers. Sunoco, I call it Suck Noco. Because then I go to the bathroom and I suck off guys. That's good. Uh, two zombie apocalypse investigation unit stickers. Oh, that's pretty cool. A New York Yankees NY decal. Oh, I I'd love for the Yeah, I'd love for Aaron Judge to fuck my ass. And what kind of guy was it driving the car? Chinese. Oh, no, no, a Mexican flag, okay. but instead of the eagle in the middle, it had a menorah. Oh, <laughs> what? Yes. That one's the it's best an one. It's Italian flag. Was it oh. oh no, it might yeah, it was Italian. Makes a lot more sense. Yeah. There's a lot of intermixing between those two wretched well, the, races. The yeah, the red, yellow or yet red, uh white and green. Not red, gold and green, Rasta colors. Mm-hmm. Um so then Nick sped up to a hundred so we could see what <laughs> kind of guy it was. <laughs> of course. And it was an Indian man. That's awesome. Yes. I wonder if there's Indian Jewish people. I mean there's gotta be this yes, there in are. country. There are. Really? Yeah. yeah. I knew He's just in there in India. You guys mean like, in well, maybe I'll from? smell a little bit worse. <laughs> <laughs> maybe you stink a little bit more. Yeah. 
Yes. <laughs> <laughs> smell just a little bit stinkier. Yeah. <laughs> Another classic mashup character. <laughs> oh fuck. I have to send I have to hit send on an email. I'll be right back. What is it? It's it with gay pornography. You have to say send me. Um what do you you have to <laughs> Yes, I mean, the ways, the interesting ways fat people find to be lazy. They're like, I'll write the email, then I'll take a 15 minute break before clicking send. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I've ran out of fingers. You're Steve, having a, you're having a fat thing. moment. <laughs> oh, stop. I do. No. Also, <laughs> okay, first of all, I no. want to publicly acknowledge I went into piss after you took a shit. Goddamn. For I a love man bananas. with such a big ass mm -hmm. and a big belly. I gotta say, really not, not, thank you. Not much of a, of a I smell. I appreciate that. Yeah. Well, it's not like there was an Indian Jewish guy in there <laughs> <laughs> just cooking dinner. I, by the way, I was not taking a break. Yeah. I had to send the file yeah. and it takes a while to upload and I forgot. Thank you very much. Oh, okay. You know. <laughs> How long does it take you guys to upload something that's like a gig? Uh, like on Google Drive, a while, right? I have no idea. Not that long. I don't really yes, pay attention. Does. Unless my gig, upload how speeds much is are bullshit. Gig? You should no. see if you can get FiOS. I would love FiOS. I can't get FiOS in my neighborhood. Yeah. No. no, Verizon is like Verizon. Like I guess, and I don't remember all the details or any of them really. <laughs> but they so like they you know because they owned all the phone lines. Yeah, they had to provide phone service to everybody. And like they weren't allowed to like just discontinue that service, even though it cost them a lot of money to keep it going. Right. And so they were like, half the time they're like, "Well, we'll just take the fines. I guess we'll just right. you know cut people off. Fuck and, them. They don't get phones. Yeah, fuck these people. Fuck poor people. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but they made like some kind of deal where if they like promised to roll out fiber to a certain amount of like it's 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 all all in the East Coast it's like here and then I think in. Uh huh. In like Boston and then DC or something, they could cut off phone service if they rolled out a certain amount of like f f fiber optic networks, and then they just didn't do it. <laughs> they just cut off the phone service. And then... Respect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So wait. So now they are doing it, or they're not? No. There's still like a. There's no home phone service where I live. Right. And there's only one option for internet. Yeah. I might move, dude. I might say goodbye to this place. Yeah, you're gonna stay in Astoria. I, I don't know. Maybe Greenpoint. Maybe Park Slope. Mm. Park Slope's nice. Somewhere bro. cute. Me and my I'm oh, Pam Marshall, and this is House Hunters International. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking with a couple, and I think they're gay. <laughs> and they're, they're looking for a three to four bedroom, Ranch, uh, preferably rancher in the Texas Hill Country. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love a ranch house. Why? Because I like one story houses. You do? Yeah. Why? I like a big one story. I don't know. I like multiple It appeals levels. to me. No, that's it. it's too much with the stairs, you know? I like to be able to take a Segway everyone, <laughs> everywhere I go in my house. Mm -hmm. You want to be able to rollerblade? I like to have home? a tech startup kind of vibe at my crib. That's awesome, bro. Yeah, I like to rollerblade throughout the house. Now, to me, having multiple stories is elegant. Oh boys, big news! Especially in New York. See, all in I New York, wanted... if you have multiple stories, you're fucking Matt Damon. Basically. I just want, oh, yeah, I just want like sure. a big ass garage. Yeah, that's the dream. That would be awesome. I went fucking to... hangar, mm -hmm. and then you just, you know, that's your world, dude. Yeah, dude. You have tools. You have fucking, a fucking bench. That's your world, dude. That's uh -huh. your world. This that's thing? it. That's you can do whatever you Go want. Go ahead and fuck me, man. I don't care. Go ahead. You want to molest me, you bro? Molest, molest me, bro. Me. What's up? You want to fucking molest me? <laughs> See if I fucking care. I don't, I don't fucking give a shit. Care, Go bro. ahead. Kiss me up. Touch me. <laughs> Kiss me up. <laughs> fucking rock my world, homie. So I don't care. <laughs> suck my balls, homie. Fucking I don't go care. ahead. <laughs> Put yeah, my balls in your mouth, man. Yeah, show me stuff. Let me see something. Teach me how to fuck a man. I don't That's even right. care. That, hey, I'm not even playing with you, Holmes. You want to take me into a basement and make me do videos with other little boys? I don't care. <laughs> I fucking dress up. I do shit. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Put a dress on me, Holmes. Fucking take advantage of me. I don't fucking lure me into your car. See if I fucking See care. if I give a fuck, man. Give me candy. Take me back to your place. <laughs> fucking spread me out. Let's see how wide I can get. I don't care who am I going to tell. I keep secrets, that's it. 
<laughs> I don't even care, man. Fuck my ass. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, it seems that uh, your son, Michael, um, was most likely molested, and now he's in a fugue state in which he thinks he's a... <laughs> A South, a Latin, a, a, yeah, a, a Southern California uh, <laughs> Latino gangster, um, and you know the fugue state that is that is kind of normal, but we we haven't seen like uh, a personality split to this degree where a, a six year old boy from Danbury, Connecticut, <laughs> thinks that he's a cholo. Um, did, where did he even have access to these yeah. kinds of archetypes? Uh, we don't know because the man who molested him was a Jewish mailman. So we, it's not even like, you know. It's possible he was playing Training Day no, he's yeah. playing, in the background. He was playing Blood In, Blood Out. He was playing yeah. Blood In, Blood Out. It's possible, but we're not positive. That's I good, don't even care. I don't care, man. Can I have my Switch back? Give me my Switch and give me some fucking candy. Let me get my fucking Switch so I can play Animal Crossing while I think about being molested. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even fucking care. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Every single day after school. I thought you were my uncle. <laughs> this is why you. I remember my dad saying the whole password thing was stupid. And then what, look what happened. Six months later... I'm fucking molested, bro. I'm getting my ass fucked, bro. They tell they tell you that password thing for a fucking reason. <laughs> I bet you he's got a password on his fucking email he uses to cheat on mom. <laughs> but for some reason, when it comes to who's gets to pick me up from school, <laughs> the password thing is quote unquote gay. <laughs> it's a gay. It's gay to have. <laughs> Who the fuck is going to pretend to be your uncle to pick you up? Those were his exact words. <laughs> and now I got to live like this? <laughs> now I'm talking like this, man. How am I going to get a fucking job, bro? <laughs> My name is Anthony Wexler. <laughs> I'm seven years old, I'm seven. Man. I'm six. I'm six. I'm, I'm six. six. <laughs> I'm six. <laughs> I'm fucking six years I'm old. I'm six years old. <laughs> now I fucking talk like this. I'll tell you what, that guy who shaved his pubes in the bathroom of the Staten Island, Island Ferry, Ferry. Yes. Um, probably could have done a better job if he had been using the yeah. manscaped lawnmower, lawnmower 3.0, 0. Lawnmower 3. Yeah. 0 or perfect package. Mm-hmm. Um, and he may have been. He may have just enjoyed... Um, well, the thing is with the quiet stroke motor, the quiet stroke technology, mm-hmm. he probably could have been operating the lawnmower 3.0 in the bathroom in a public restroom and no one would have been the yeah. wiser. That's how quiet and seamless this motor is. And he wouldn't even need to turn the light on because it's got a built-in that's right. LED. That's exactly correct. Yeah, Manscaped is, uh, they're dedicated to helping you level up your full body grooming game. <laughs> <laughs> Which is, that's a really cool thing. That's an see. awesome thing that to be dedicated so cool. to. Dude, imagine. Go ahead, man. Level up my full body. Go ahead. Level, level me up, level bro. Level me up, bro. <laughs> Go ahead. Come rock my fucking world. Fuck around and find out. <laughs> Come watch me get nasty with it. Put it out. <laughs> I don't care. I don't fucking I'm care. in fucking second grade, I'm in homie. second grade, homie. I'm, I'm, not, a fucking, I'm not a fucking <laughs> kindergarten baby. I'm not a fucking kindergarten baby who's scared of stuff. Go ahead. Level me up. <laughs> Level up my body grooming. Yeah, they actually just released their Shears 2.0 nail kit, which is the perfect add-on package to the Lawnmower 3.0 oh, oh, or yeah. perfect package. Sounds awesome. The Shears 2.0 is a luxury four-piece nail kit. I actually looked it up. It's it's cheap as shit. It's like fucking really. Yeah, it's like ten twenty bucks. Nice. You think because you know the other things are like full deal, right? Um. They actually do have. Now I look at their like pricing and stuff. Mm-hmm. Now, yep. Now that it's time to do an ad. Now that it's time to do an ad. It's it's uh, it's very reasonable and good. In yeah. fact, more than reasonable. Cheap. Yeah. It's it's it is dog shit cheap. <laughs> this is some cheap <laughs> shit. Yeah. Some fucking garbage. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean just like they're they're like because you think well it's, oh it's just clippers right mm-hmm. and yes it's just clippers but. They're also, uh, uh, they did something to make sure that your ball skin doesn't get sucked into the clippers. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. But then this shit, it's like, it comes with underwear. You get this fucking lotion. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And, and I will say, I've I've shaved my nuts with it multiple times. It's awesome. Yeah. yeah. 
It and, is awesome. And you best believe that underwear has the branded manscaped around mm-hmm. the the fucking elastic. So all the so whores you know your nuts are fucking. So my, so you can my sag. pubes aren't dense enough to do a fade, and I'm all about fades. Yeah, I do. So. I got slashes through my pubes. Like, uh, yeah. I got the Nike swoosh. I did the Nike swoosh into my the hair around my asshole. That's awesome. With the manscape <laughs> <laughs> lawnmower 3.0 uh-huh. mm-hmm. with the uh, skin. But so no, they got this like this the perfect package 3.0. It's you get the lawnmower, the crop preserver. It's a anti ball chafing deodorant. Uh huh. I put that shit on. They got a toner and refresher, uh-huh. and then a magic mat, which is a disposable. It's like a diaper. It's a disposable shaving mat. Mm-hmm. That you can, uh, that you, st- this you can take thing. a shit inside of. That yeah. you stand on. And you then can take <laughs> a standing dump. You, if you're on the train, you're wearing a dress because it's New York. Yes. Right. Um, and everyone here wears dresses. It's a hot New York day. You got that breeze coming up your dress. I'm in New York homes and I want to take a dump on I the don't train. I care, bro. I'll I, take a dump right here. I hit up the, the, the manscaped magic mat to take a dump right on there. But look, you get this, you get a travel bag. It's a $40 Ooh, travel bag. I fuck with the bag. Yeah, see? I mean, you get a lot of shit. What they do is they it's curate. It's a very nice toiletry bag. They curate a whole experience around grooming yourself. Mm-hmm. You're getting your nuts absolutely Right. Bald. I think the, the, the problem in prior to this in terms of understanding what's going on is like it's not about one individual product, but the the entire process and ritual of self-care and grooming which is what is presented by this company that's right um that's why you know you throw the shears on there too you take care of your nails i would never take care of my nails you know what i mean yeah but i bite my nails but if i got if i had this package yes where i just shaved my nuts and then applied Mm -hmm. a cleanser and a toner which i have done and it feels great yeah why i like to slap it up at that point i would take the scissors and the nail kit which i also have and finish the process of grooming yeah circumcise yourself human beings double circumcise are are animals of ritual Mm -hmm. you know and it's 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 you need you need the entire grooming experience which is why it makes sense that these are sort of grouped into these these packages. I agree one hundred percent. Which are reasonably priced and sexy. Oh, they're sexy. They're, se- they're you, sexy. You're probably wearing flip flops, and people don't want to see those nasty unclipped toes of yours. Well, Actually, no, you're not. You're probably putting on socks and shoes and not leaving your house. You're dressing up to sit down at the computer and write your manifesto. <laughs> right. But you need to be well groomed. <laughs> That's right. I love it, dude. I take my cold shower in the morning. I apply. Dog shit to my face. <laughs> <laughs> I, I you mean literal up, dog shit? Yeah, I, I, yeah. Uh, I heat up a knife on the stove and I press yeah. it against my body. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, I, and then I then I do my inscaping with the perfect package. It's perfect. Yeah. Point. Before that, you were using a before hot that butter knife pu- to yeah. shave your nuts. Before that, is about punishment. Yeah. But what I I realize it's about ritual. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and yeah. You have nothing but these disgusting, disfigured marks all across your thighs and nuts. Mm. But now with the fucking lawnmower 3.0, those are a thing of the past. No, it is. It is nice though, like self care and grooming or whatever. If you get mm-hmm. into a habit of doing it, it gives you something to do immediately when you wake up, and you're not like, the fuck am I? You know? Yeah. I just instead of just laying in bed, maybe jacking off. I never lay in bed. I get up and mm-hmm. then I'm like, what the fuck am I mad about? Right. You know, and then I find something. Mm-hmm. And, that's, <laughs> and, and there goes the day. Oh, great. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever this is. <laughs> There's a Chinese guy going through my recycling. <laughs> Perfect Package 3.0 comes with the Essential Lawnmower 3.0 waterproof cordless body trimmer and a ton of other liquid format. That's cool. You can do it in the shower. Yeah. yeah. See, I wouldn't, though. You take the shower, you apply your shit or whatever, then you get out. Then it's or. You start off. Uh, see, I you start off shaving. I trim, then, you, shaving. then you go for a rinse. I don't combine the shower with anything. No, no. I've I've thought about brushing my teeth. I I've, I've been thinking about setting a timer so I take the exact same length of shower every single day. That would be nice. Or just a stopwatch and then try to train myself to naturally do an hour and fifteen minutes <laughs> <laughs> in the cold. Yeah. What would you say your showers would go for? Probably five minutes now at most. Five. Three minutes. Wow, Navy shower. Yeah, no, I hop in, I fucking uh, lather up. Especially like you know, now that my hair's short. Yeah, you don't have to shampoo. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I do shampoo. I shampoo when I have short hair. When I have long hair, I don't. Interesting. Because it's the natural oils. Uh-huh. See, I'm I'm now that I have hair, I shampoo, I condition everything. You have what more. You, you have more hair than I do now. I know. Yeah, way more. 
I know. It's crazy. It's, it's, see how I'm, the I'm fatter than you are. That's now. true. You're also like getting close mm-hmm. to being able to grow a beard. Yeah. Well, I'm sticking with the goatee. Thank you very much. I mean, it's a great look. Tony <laughs> yeah, Stark. It is a really good look. <laughs> the Tony Stark Prano. <laughs> I'm Pretty Tony, much exactly. I'm Tony Stark Prano, dude. And you got to tell the guys at home, you did that by using, you use the Manscaped. I used right from my nuts the, to my face. The double chin shaver, there's which no, is special. The they specially made for me. Are, for, if you're, a, if you're a, Manscaped a, influencer. a plus-sized man, mm-hmm. they have the Manscaped double chin system. <laughs> Because what what is a double chin if it's not sort of like a second pair of balls in your, on your face? Yeah. Right. Um, for a limited time, subscribers get two free gifts, the travel bag, which we said was good, <laughs> and then the boxers, which we already mentioned that. So um, we already said those things. The shears are nice. Um, you want to use promo code CUMTOWN20 to get 20% off plus free shipping. Um, CUMTOWN20, manscaped.com. Try it out. Um, and you know, I mean, yeah, see, start your day off shaving your, shaving your cock, every shaving day. your cock every single day. <laughs> I like to go a little, like just like a little pencil line around the, the yes. base of my cock. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. You Cause know? then you get the yeah. optical inch yeah. without, with keeping yeah. some pew. The Raul. The Raul. <laughs> <laughs> that's an awesome name. Uh-huh. I love giving my cock the Raul. <laughs> And then I put I the Manscaped sells it also, but I have a little um, a Saint Anthony uh, mm-hmm. medallion. That oh, I, yeah, you have to have that. Yeah, that I put around for the, good luck. Yeah, and then a little wife beater that goes over my balls. Uh-huh. That's awesome. Yeah. I have a pair of rosary beads I wrap around my package. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow, are they the world's smallest rosary beads? They're mm-hmm. so small, bro. Do are they for ants? But check them out. 20% nice. off. Zoolander. <laughs> Manscaped.com. What is this? A Promo code. Penis cum, rosary bead for ants? What is this? A penis for ants? <laughs> what is this? A penis for ants? What is this? A penis for ants? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's good. Zoolander. Those, those, were, those were good banana. That was a good banana. Was it? It looked a little green to me. I love bananas. I like an underripe banana. No. I do. I don't like a spotty banana. I don't like a spotty one either, but I don't like an underripe. I like a you get them slight, slightly I eat, I eat underripe. All, I like eat all kinds of bananas. I like Adam a, likes it when they're hard and firm. That's true. That makes sense, actually, yeah. now that I think I'm about like, it. I like a nice, soft, sweet banana. You hard, know? firm. A little sweet cheeks. So <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Slide that soft, sweet banana <laughs> into my ass. See if I care, Holmes. I don't even fucking care. I don't even. You know what? I'm on the playground. Come find me. Come find me. I'm Come find me on the bars. fucking playground. I'm hiding in the in the slide. <laughs> All the other kids, they were smart and they ran away to their parents, but I stayed in the slide. Guess who fished me out? <laughs> guess who fucking guess which the Jewish mailman fished me out? Uh-huh. And now I'm fucking now I'm a cholo, man. Yeah, it's fucking blood in, blood out. <laughs> blood in, blood out, dude. Only way out is to be unmolested. So that <laughs> that doesn't work. <laughs> How could you get unmolested? Mm-hmm. A hot lady fucking you? No, you have, like to you, you have to molest back. You got to molest back. You have to molest a grown yeah. man. I didn't understand what people, when they would be like, the only way out is in a box. When I was a kid, yeah, I yeah. thought, but like, they mail you somewhere. <laughs> 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 like, what, like, how Garfield gets rid of normal? <laughs> <laughs> that was his move. Yeah, yeah. send him to Antarctica. That gone. Yeah. 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 We had that debate about whether normal was a girl. He was a guy. Yeah, insane. I can see why he was annoyed by normal now. Oh, because he's a gay guy, not a hot girl. You're exactly. <laughs> yeah, he thought it was a hot chick at first. He got—he was getting his dick sucked by normal. He went to finger pop him, and he's like, "What the hell is this? <laughs> this is a cat penis." I'm gay now. Look at that! You can't even see the flame. Whoa! Why'd you light a plastic on fire? What it's do you mean? Smell bad. Because I'm twisted. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, come oh, on. Shit. It's one of our other, uh, our other sponsors is, um, the Pyro Cool Pack. Pyros for porno. P- pyro porno for, for pyros. I'm going to put that out porno before. Porno for That drips on my skin and definitely burns the shit <laughs> out of me. I did that once when I was a kid by accident. You burn yourself with plastic? Yeah. I could see you being a kid that shit, lit shit on fire. Not all the time. Occasionally. Just for You try shits. it out. Yeah. yeah. I was scared. <laughs> you're scared, scared of fire. You were scared to light shit on fire. Yeah, yeah. Why? I didn't want to get burned. I was too uh, pretty. No, that's that's. I, I'm I'm. Uh, 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 I was too precious. I was taught that I was precious. Yeah, and I didn't want to harm myself. Who's the fire guy? Prometheus. Prometheus. Yeah, yeah. He was cool. Yeah, 
You said fuck the gods. I, I've got a Promethean mentality. <laughs> you know, let's figure shit out. Let's cu- let's cut ourselves with the tools. Mm-hmm. Prometheus was like, look, everybody, it can't just be gods that get to have fucking ribs. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Everybody else should have ribs and fucking wow, shit like that. Is that your patron god? No, he, I don't think he's a god. He's not a god. He stole from the gods. He stole from the gods. He was like, "What's yeah. up? Who's he- Hephaestus? That's the that's the god. That's the guy in the fucking that's the black ma- in blacksmith. blacksmith. Yes, yeah, that's it. Yep, Hephaestus rocks. He is cool. He's yeah. metal, and he's always yeah. He's always like in this dark little fucking cave, and he's just guys banging shit. He's like strong. Mm-hmm. He's a he's a zad- Hephaestus is a zaddy. Mm-hmm. Apollo is definitely a twink. I've been listening to uh, Sabbath again recently. Hell yeah, which which um." albums technical ecstasy oh shit okay that was a, that one's got like the gas mask like pilot cover right i think people so, said yeah. that wasn't like that was reviewed poorly but i like that one it's sick yeah yeah and that's a cool name yeah and sabbath bloody sabbath sabbath bloody sabbath <laughs> who sucks on your dick check out this guy me i'm gay my dick's small nick you're gonna have a Phase, I think, where you learn blacksmith shit. Probably not. You don't think so? You no, don't you... want to forge in your backyard? No, nah, that seems gay to me. But you just said Hephaestus was cool. Metalworking, sure, I could get into that. Metalworking. But... What's the difference? That's... Well, one's uh, you build a forge in your backyard and make swords for other fags. <laughs> to no, I didn't take mean to the that. Take fair. <laughs> and then I the mean, other like, ones you, you get like fences and gates and stuff. No. You know, was, who's, you know who's really into that? Who? Metalworking. Who? Bob Dylan. Oh my god, yeah. shut the fuck it's true. up. He's Who really cares? Into it. He's really into it. It is gay, I just remembered. No, it's not gay. It's cool. First of all, I always said it was. You always said it was? You just said it was cool two no. minutes ago. Because I thought Nick was talking about making swords, which he thinks is gay, but I think is cool. But not for Ren Fair to slice your enemies up. It'd be cool to get into gunsmithing. Make guns. That would be cool. That's cooler than making fences. Mm hmm. You Bob Dylan makes fences, and you think that's cool. He makes like wrought iron gates. And oh, stuff. what a fucking loser! He's not a loser, dude. He's cool. he sucks. When dude. you type in Prometheus, all you get is the aliens from Prometheus. They yeah, fucked yeah. it up. They dude. fucked up the Google. Those aliens are badass, though. Yeah, the I've, Prometheus. I just aliens? watched. I, never saw I just watched it. Aliens one and two. I'm about to watch the whole rest of them. Mm-hmm. Did you like it? But yeah, they were good. But although I liked Alien the first one better. Look at this oh. dude. Than the James Cameron one. Imagine looking like that. That that's was what, pretty that's what I look. That's what I imagine. My, like, when I shaved my head, that's what I thought it looked like. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it said. That's what looked back at me in the mirror. <laughs> now I look different. Now that I have hair and a goatee. Yeah. <laughs> that's just, just like that's like, definitely that old, is the, that's, that's, what that's what they should style. do. When, when people are going bald and they have those like yeah. sympathy articles or whatever, yeah, like yeah. Bruce Willis or yeah, Jason yeah. Statham, the Prometheus the alien. Prometheus alien. That's me. <laughs> that was me. Yeah. I've abandoned that look now. Mm-hmm. This is just what white people would look like if they look like black people. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, it's true. Mm-hmm. If like white people that's were that's a white black guy. If, yeah, if white people were as white as some black guys are black. Or black, yes, yeah, that makes that's, sense. That's that's what you would look like. Mm-hmm. You'd be like, <laughs> this guy would be like, "Hey, son." You ever hear about Adolf Hitler? <laughs> you ever, you know, let me, t- hey son, let me holler at you. There was, see, there was this a professor named Adolf Hitler. All right, and he understood that there was a master race. Yes, mm-hmm. just this guy hanging out on Fulton, yeah. on White Fulton. <laughs> Everyone, look up the Prometheus aliens. The Prometheus aliens, yeah. If you're cool, yeah. Bada bum 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 bum. Bum, Just bum, wearing bum. the white version of Kente cloth. Which I guess is like Scottish tartans. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Although I gotta say, that's too white. Yeah. Vicious traps. Look at that. Yeah. Damn, Again, I dude. Know what that, look I at know. his neck. Yeah. Insane. I know what that looks like because that's what I look like. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna get big traps. Just brushing your hair. While <laughs> yeah. I do have a brush. A friend of mine got me a brush. He said it stimulates hair growth. Oh, nice. Yeah. So that's what I'm doing. Now. Oh, come a forward. You like oh, yeah. Let's see forward? a nice forward. You like to come forward? Oh, yeah. That's that's a full head of hair right that's there. That's awesome. Buddy. Dude, that's I'm a- about to be a comb over length for sure. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> oh yeah. god oh, this yeah. is a great visual the, the, yeah you guys yeah. aren't getting our any friends at home are but not guess getting what? it shut the fuck up yeah just picture stop brushing his hair forward right now. <laughs> that is a great look wow you're going bald is so funny yeah well i have hair so i don't know what you mean yeah but it before is. i had short hair <laughs> Now and I told—I was hair. telling you guys for the longest time I have you hair. You were right. I choose to grow, to have it short. Mm-hmm. And now how? Now look who's got egg on their face. Look who's yeah. talking now. <laughs> look who's putting egg on their face to stimulate hair growth. <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, anyone should be doing that, not mm-hmm. just yeah. if there was a way. Like if there was like uh, just like some, they cured it, right? Mm-hmm. Like you take a pill, yeah, and then it's fucking all back. You do it. <sighs> that's a hard question. That's a that's like the X Men, dude. Would they? Give would they be normal? Mm-hmm. Um, the pill also makes you lose 150 pounds. Oh, that's tough. Zero. So I would just be like a like a skinny guy with hair. Yeah, yeah. I lose both my essences at once. Think yeah. about it. Oh, that's really tough. Honestly, I am literally. It sounds. It's pretty not good. a bit. I'm honestly grappling with this. Really? Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> Is, am I even me if it the happens pill overnight? also makes you 6'3"? Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. And it makes your dick better and harder. Uh, no, oh, it gives you at least an average dick. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> Does it make your foreskin wider? That's all I need. Yeah, it, it stretches It stretches out. out your foreskin? But not too baggy. <sighs> Why? I guess I'd have to do it, but it would be... I guess I would... You know what it is? I don't even mind if all that stuff happened to me, but I'd want to earn it. Mm-hmm. You know, I'd want I I wouldn't want to overnight become somebody else. Yeah. I want to have a journey to get there. Yeah, nobody wants to take those pills. I, I you know what? Yeah, you I need- guess I would do it for the hair alone. Mm-hmm. It's not about the destination though. I feel It's you. about the journey. It is. That's, uh, that's the that's Odyssey, brother. That's a good The point. Odyssey. I want to get pussy on that island where all my guys turn mm-hmm. into pigs. Mm-hmm. I want to get tied down so I don't get pussy from the fucking harpies. There's yeah. a lot of getting pussy involved in the Odyssey. Yeah. I, there's a lot of betting, too. Absolutely. Oh, yes. There's a lot of gambling. Od- the Odysseus true. is doing a lot of wagering. Yeah. Um, and you know, football season is back. Oh, yeah. It's back in full. Is it actually? Is it back with Antonio Brown or is it back it's with back. Antonio Brown is on the Raiders? Yeah, the Raiders. <laughs> Did we get the copy or no? Yeah, no. <laughs> Antonio Brown is on the yeah. Oakland Raiders. Tom, how about this? Tom Brady is on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Okay. Mm. Wow. You're blowing yeah. my mind. Though. Well, the NFL is back, and this year there's no black people. <laughs> they finally did it. They finally took the plunge and said, we're going to be the only sport that's racist. <laughs> All of the other ones, those are going to be woke sports. Mm-hmm. Is there a racist sport left? I mean, the NFL is sort of ra- a lot of the owners. What's the, are the most, most racist, racist sport now? The NFL pivoted to woke, though. Not recently. really. They're trying to. Um, the most racist sport. I guess there's some black hockey players. Probably hockey or baseball. I guess. No, baseball's got tons of Afro Latinos. Yeah, yeah, baseball. but all those guys are like, all the the white no black, Poppy. <laughs> I'm white, man. I'm Dominican, Poppy. I mean, no black. <laughs> All those guys are like that. Yeah, they like blast hookah. Yep. Um, they watch porn in the dugout. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. On small kitchen TVs. <laughs> well, mybookie.ag, you can fucking do whatever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can do whatever. You can do whatever the fuck. <laughs> you can you, bet. You can bet money. You can, fucking you can bet money. You can bet inches of your cock. You can just do whatever you goddamn mm-hmm. want. They got a uh, Oregon uh, trading. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They go Oregon Trail, Oregon Trail, Oregon Train. You can training. play. You can play Oregon Trail. On, uh, mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Um, you can do a lot of that sort of thing. Your oxen can get dysentery. Here we go. All right. So look, if you want, uh, mybookie.ag is uh, winning season returns at my bookie. Uh, winning season means uh, doubling your first deposit. Yep. Winning season means Survivor, Super Survivor con- Pool, Super <clears throat> Contest, Super Contests, and Squares. Mm-hmm. Uh, a lot of you may be asking, well, we know Survivor Pools, we understand Super Contests, but what are Squares? <clears throat> Dude, so many good questions. In my bookie, winning season means hitting all your parlays and props with your feet up. I love that. Watching your team trounce. 
the yeah. arrivals. <laughs> that makes me feel awesome when mm-hmm. that happens. I love it. Rejoice. It's time to celebrate the NFL season. <laughs> really? Yes. A lot of people uh, hard up on cash right now. You should invest in your intuition. <laughs> Who exactly is doing this read right now? <laughs> My name is Martin Crap. <laughs> Martin Crap. <laughs> and I just got out of jail for molesting a six-year-old. <laughs> I'm the Jewish mailman. No. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> well, you know, hopefully you're rehabilitated, Martin. And he you're served not his fuck time. Any more kids. He served I, his time. I got out on a technicality. <laughs> oh, okay. So because yeah. they could not get the six year old to say his own name in court. <laughs> Because uh, he was in a fugue state and would only identify as a 27-year-old Latino man from uh, from Frogtown, Los Angeles. He said, "I'm Frogtown's finest," and uh, because he would not, they couldn't get him to testify or identify me. I uh, received uh, an offer to become the spokesperson for my bookie.ag. <laughs> okay. Because they said, what are the odds? Right. What are the odds? Well, you did the beat odds. the odds. You beat the odds. <laughs> That's what finer yeah. a spokesman for a gambling website yeah. than a man who skated on fucking child charges. Exactly. Yes. Uh, the, <laughs> uh, it's kind of like in movies where they get a guy who's arrested for hacking and they want the best hacker. Right, right. My bookie, they wanted a guy who's the best at beating the odds. <laughs> yep, you're a regular swordfish. And I said, I don't know anything about gambling. I just molest children. <laughs> So you're still at it, huh? Yeah. But I, I do say invest in your intuition and use promo code COMETOWN20 <laughs> and double your first deposit. <laughs> Martin Crab. New players get up to $1,000. <laughs> free play, uh, which is a, a free play has a different meaning for me. So I'm not, right. sure. I'm not exactly sure what it means in the context of uh, mm-hmm. gambling. and Free play in my household is what... Uh, you know, we oh, no. let open the cages in the oh, basement, no. but lock the <laughs> the door at the top of the steps. That's scary. <laughs> so the children are able to, uh, you know, kind of they get it's it's sort of a cage free experience. For okay, them. right. With the a, a, exception of uh, you know, if you consider that the the basement is sealed and soundproof, mm-hmm. right. So and it's like cage free eggs. There's no daylight. Right. Exactly. It's cage free exactly. kids. So what, what you would call uh, organic molestation. Or- organic <laughs> kids. Yeah. Uh, it's designed to add more excitement to the sports you love and the games you bet. From live betting to championship futures, every play you want to make is waiting at my bookie. It's simple. Make your picks. Win big. Collect your cash. <laughs> Use promo code COMETOWN20 and double your first deposit. Your winning season begins today only at mybookie.com. The only sportsbook my sports that has a uh, convicted, uh, but uh, well, one on appeal, pedophile. So not convicted. Oh, on appeal. Okay. So your name, they, they wiped your slate clean. Your name is good. Are you on the registry, Martin? The sex offenders registry? Um, <clears throat> uh, I'm f- sorry, an email came in, <laughs> okay. and I started thinking about what I want to eat after this is over, <laughs> and now I'm not Martin anymore, I'm back to being me, and the chuck seized on my drill for the second time in six months, I'm going to have to send it off to get warrantied, Okay, and I'm pissed. <laughs> Well, Adam, you want to slap Nick so he stops talking in that yeah, voice? Nick, what can we do to get you to snap out? He's of just that? he's trapped in Martin. I guess I could uh, keep talking like this. No, Martin. It is a good voice. Martin it's has funny. a little Obama. This is like a little he's got piece a little of Obama. Obama. Gold bloom a little bit. A little too. gold. Yeah. He's gold bloom Obama. Uh, uh, I'm Martin. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and my bookie. <laughs> It's, uh, you can have sex with the website. <laughs> uh, MyBookie.ag is one of the only websites that you can have sex with the website. <laughs> wow, that's cool. <laughs> Man, having sex with things you can't yeah. have sex with is awesome. I've uh, always wanted to fuck a website. Uh, play bed win, win what? An opportunity to fuck your computer. <laughs> Maybe, maybe, yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I'll tell you what, uh, it's one of the few websites you can load up and just put the computer right uh, right into your ass <laughs> <laughs> and type uh, on the computer with your ass muscles. Using your ass muscles. <laughs> <laughs> wow! It's just, it just says original Goldblum iMac ads. Yeah, I remember. Those. Yeah, yeah. I do. Uh, uh, think, dance, play. Uh, you can put the computer in your ass. <laughs> <laughs> the new iMac. You can have sex with it. You can put your penis on the I'll iMac. You, yeah, you know. <laughs> oh, for those like orange and blue. And yeah, yeah, the ones. original yes. one. Well, that was like that was where, like Apple was like, let's be cool, and they came out with the iMac, and those that, that was that big campaign um, with Goldblum. I did think they were cool. I was a child. Yeah, but I, I, he I was... do remember thinking those were cool computers. Yeah, and being pissed when my family. I'm so excited was about this. Cool. You know how easy it is to take your home videos and turn them into movies. Listen to this. You get an iMac, of course. Get your digital video camera. Hook it up. And start iMovie. They've got effects in there now. You can, um, you know, make it real fast. Ooh. Or get slow motion, make it dramatic. Or you can take a piece of music, put it under your footage, and all of a sudden, people are laughing, yeah. crying. I don't know, whatever you want. I've got cheesy ideas, but you'll do something creative that'll make you want to go, ooh, let's watch that again Ooh. and again and again and again. Oh. Oh, the new iMac, you're going to load it up. Yeah, you're going to pull up. Pull up. This is really cool. They got, they got gay pornography on here. Now. <laughs> <laughs> and you can look at it. You can pull out your cock. I don't know. I've got cheesy ideas, but you, <laughs> you can pull out your cock. Beat off in front of all of your friends. <laughs> <laughs> the entire computer will fit in your ass. Put it in the whole thing in your ass. Just oh, take off your pants, sit down on the top of the computer, and keep pushing until it's inside your body. <laughs> oh, I almost shit. You ever? I almost literally sharted just uh, now. Yeah, I thought I thought I got a text. <laughs> <laughs> now the couch is rumbling because there's something that's about to pop out of my ass. I'll oh, tell you that no. much. Keep it in, brother. I'm ju- I'm going. I'm gonna. F- I'm going to. I'm a professional. Dude, but this guy. I, f- I was feeling great, and now I very acutely know that something has to come out of my ass. Is your homemade calamari? Uh, Maybe it was a little undercooked. Maybe a little bit. I've been undercooking stuff, thinking like, well, I eat sushi anyway. Right. But I don't think that that's the correct mindset. I like my chicken pink. Not chicken. Chicken, I don't fuck with like that. In that sense, I like my chicken extra pink. I like my penis getting sucked <laughs> by a computer. <laughs> the, new, the new iMac, you can shove it directly in your ass. <laughs> this is cool. Check this out. You can laugh, dance, sing, fuck the computer. Fuck the computer. <laughs> <laughs> You're watching Family Feud. I'm your new host, Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> And what do we have here? The faggot family. <laughs> um, our name is uh, Stevenson. <laughs> yeah, it's not. Please stop calling. Don't be calling this that man. I don't give a shit, man. I know it's your show, but call me the faggot family one more time, and we're gonna have problems. I don't care, you boys. Will Smith. I just, I just watched a great episode of Family Feud, the best family I've ever seen yeah. on it. I don't remember their last name, but who's the, the host? It was uh, Steve. Steve. Oh. It, was a, it was a modern one, but the family. They had the f- top two guys were named Rodvis mm-hmm. and Spezio. <laughs> and that's just like, and this family was all, they were just like fucking, yeah. they rocked it. All right, final round. We got the Miller family versus Jeff Goldblum, <laughs> our returning champion. <laughs> Go to Jeff. Name something you can do on the computer. Oh, uh, you can shove it in your ass. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Good God. Let's see it. <laughs> Wrong again, Jeff. <laughs> How, somehow still the champion. Uh, yeah. Well, so what are you going to do? Make it up on the back end. <laughs> I'll just wait till the triple score. Round. Yeah, I'll wait until they blow it. <laughs> until Aunt Demiqua blows it, and then it'll go back to me, and I'll steal the round. <laughs> you can shove it up your ass. You can put it in your ass. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what you can do with the computer, Steve, is you can <laughs> suck on it like a cock. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Keep 
playing with me. <laughs> Keep playing with me and you're going to find out. <laughs> Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> I would love to see Steve Harvey fight Jeff Goldblum. Because oh, he yeah, keeps right. saying gay shit to him. <laughs> you gotta stop it with this gay shit. Because <laughs> he keeps mm-hmm. saying weird gay shit. <laughs> Name something people think about when they think about Jesus. Oh, God, no. <laughs> Lord, no, don't make me ask Jeff Goldblum. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Jeff's already smiling. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Stevie, I believe it's my turn. I believe it's my go. <laughs> All right, Jeff. They think about shoving him in their ass. <laughs> no! <laughs> I can't do it. I'm not going to say it. I'm not even going to look at the board. <laughs> You have to say it. That's the job. <laughs> that's why they hire you, Steve. Oh, that's your job. <laughs> you have to repeat what I say. <laughs> Do people think about shoving Jesus in their ass? <laughs> it was a good guess. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Shouts out to Jeff Goldblum, man. <laughs> oh, fuck. <clears throat> yeah. Family Feud is bullshit, though. You only win $20,000 per game, and there's five of you. Damn. The you fuck? $4,000. And $4, after taxes, it's like, All right, Jeff, walk to the podium. Uh, my pleasure. And he comes out from behind the booth, hard. and his pants are completely around his ankles. <laughs> He's just nude. <laughs> Pull your fucking pants up. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't, I, I didn't. I didn't notice. Man. I didn't realize. I was behind the podium. <laughs> I didn't know my penis was out. <laughs> oh fuck! <clears throat> God damn. What are some classic Gold Bloom flicks? Uh, Jurassic Park. You got... How did he get famous? What were Jaws? <laughs> no, he wasn't yeah. in Jaws. I think we're going to need a bigger anus. <laughs> I think we're going <laughs> to... We're going to go out to the ocean. Uh, uh, we're going to try... <laughs> we're going to put the shark... Uh, we're going to try shoving the shark uh, into my ass. <laughs> <laughs> And this is hide things in Jeff Goldblum's ass. <laughs> this is off road put things in Jeff Goldblum's ass. <laughs> we got Henry Rollins driving a Humvee while we put while we shove things into Jeff Goldblum's <laughs> ass. It's the original iMac. This is what I made all the CKY videos on. <laughs> Henry Rollins just drives the Jeep directly into his yeah. ass. Ba-da-da-ba. Dude, shout out to Bam. <clears throat> what are you going to eat after this is over, Nick? Uh, probably a little peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Respect. Oh, I love Oh, it. who let one fly? Was that you? That was, was not me. It was Adam. Nick, that, that, that was, was disgusting, dude. <laughs> Nick, that's awful. God it smells damn, like a cat. Dude. It really does. It, it smells, smells like, like a cat, cat smoking shit. tobacco. I ate a bunch of bad broccoli yesterday. <laughs> you ate bad broccoli. Yeah, it was slimy, but I figured no. if I cooked it, it would be fine. Oh, brutal. That's awful, man. That yeah. smells really bad, dude. That's really ah. fucking yeah. Right oh, now. my God. It had a it's second just, round. It's lingering. <laughs> the lingering right now. Did you have to? Oh, damn. Did you have to? Well, that's Let revenge. You moving the rearview mirror in my car, Adam? <laughs> I didn't move it, dude. Yeah, you did. My foot hit it accidentally. Your foot? Yeah, he has to relax. So You're one of like, those guys. He puts a, he gets in my car and just starts kicking the dash. Like and, a girl, you put your yeah. feet up. Yeah, I like to relax, baby. You, it's a fucking thirty minute ride, man. It was less. Nick drove so fast on the BQE today. Mm-hmm. Actually, if there's no traffic, you can get Nick here was in like doing 25. fucking Gran Torino on the BQE today. <laughs> Gran Torino or Gran maybe. Turismo? Sorry. No, I was doing Gran Torino. He was, he was doing both. Yeah. He was saying <laughs> speeding. He was saying Asian slurs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
What's up, dragon lady? <laughs> what are you spooks up to? <laughs> Hell yeah, old man. Shut up, pussy. Shut up, you're gay. Shut up, you fucking pussy. <laughs> Dude, that movie's so funny. It's so, I want to rewatch. Yeah. I ain't never seen it. The super cut of every slur that he says in that movie on YouTube is hilarious. As if that guy wouldn't just get the fuck beaten out of him immediately. Right. Yeah. <laughs> He's an old man. Is in a world man. where, yeah, where like some Detroit gangbanger is going to be like, hold up. That's an old man. We have to respect him. <laughs> right, Even right, Even though he's right. being racist. We've got to respect yeah, yeah, our yeah. elders. Even though in real life, those those two would be 11-year-old boys that are six foot three <laughs> yeah. and both own fully automatic AK-47s. <laughs> he would literally just get... I'm finna kill somebody because it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Let's kill this old man so we can laugh. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. He gets God immediately. Of yeah. course. Yeah, he would get straight up one punch knockout. Mm -hmm. Well, he would get knockout gamed for yeah. sure. <laughs> knockout game. We got to bring that back. Yeah, and then he would just be the video of it would just be retweeted endlessly by Sunglass Abby guys, being like, "This is these are the people that you say we shouldn't genocide." <laughs> <laughs> this is who all of them. <laughs> Are these these basically orphan gangs? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Child soldiers. <laughs> right. Yeah. Damn. Damn, dude. I'm just thinking about that fart now. I can't even smell it anymore. No, you got to let it go, man. Oh, you got to let go and let God. I feel like I tasted it. Yeah. Yeah. It was bad. Uh, it's probably uh, earlier. I got a little carried away taking out the garbage, <laughs> and I shoved it all up my ass. <laughs> That's kind of what it smells like. <laughs> Jeff, are you okay? Uh, sorry, I, I walked past the litter box and I couldn't help but shove all the cat Put shit up my ass. Be shit in my ass, <laughs> <laughs> and then pretend I'm a kitty cat. <laughs> It uh, pisses off the cats. The and cat it shows dominance. Him. A lot of people don't know how to show dominance to a cat. You got to take its shit and shove it in your ass. <laughs> show the cat who's boss. <laughs> All right, yeah. folks. Well, if you want shirts, check out come dot town, mm -hmm. and we got some new fall sweatshirts coming mm -hmm. soon. Yes, go to stabby dot biz. The um, can I see your penis? Design is no longer available because I did receive a cease and desist from Scott Stapp. Did you? <laughs> but, <laughs> how, how the fuck is that possible? I don't know. But uh, Wait, Creed hit you up? Creed was like, no. What an honor. Yeah. You actually got a cease and desist? Mm -hmm. Dan like just an email or a email. real letter? Oh. So cool. I would keep selling them. You think so? Yeah, I would see what happens. <laughs> Yeah, what, 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 what could happen? Something bad to me? I mean, we you, think get, you get sued and then you go to court, but then they would have to like, I mean, what are they going to sue you for? Fucking a uh -huh. hundred bucks. Can you only, what, what do you get sued for? Whatever you make off the shirts? Damages, I guess. Yeah, I guess that's true. I, I also Dude, don't see, fucking... I don't see, I don't see a way where they win that case either. It's parody, right? I mean, that's up for to a judge, I guess, to decide. But. Yeah, well, I will argue that can I see your penis? I mean, the, they would em <laughs> they would embarrass themselves going to court to explain that uh -huh. a shirt that says Creed, can I see your penis? <laughs> As a fucking five people bought. <laughs> As a member of the American Bar Association, I'll take that court. I'll take that case. Anyways, it would maybe. be funny. That's the thing. It, it would be, be funny. Yeah, we got to yeah. keep this going, dude. Fuck. Honestly. It would be fun. And if we start a little rivalry between the show and Scott Stapp from Creed, mm -hmm. that would just be perfect. That's yeah. We need new enemies, you know? What if it was fake? What if it wasn't real? It might have been. What if it's a, one of those goddamn trolls? Yeah, it's from a fucking Yahoo account. It could have been a troll. I, just, I didn't see, actually, because it was just the, my t-shirt guy sent it to me. Eric Jewishman. <laughs> yeah. A lawyer at large. <laughs> Anyway, um, no. Apparently, who who you need to look out for is Jack Daniels. Mm -hmm. I've been oh, told really? from from my now that I'm a member of the t-shirt community. Mm. Uh, yeah, they're apparently very uh, litigious. Really? Because but any time you go on vacation, that. you get like a it says like Atlantic the City board, boardwalk. Yeah, shit is like no, there nobody's going around checking that shit. They're yeah, not yeah, online. Yeah. Right. But apparently, yeah, like every band that tries to do like a Jack Daniels inspired thing is immediately fucking shut down by Damn. Wow. What yeah. a what a fucking loser. That yeah, Jack, fuck Jack Daniels, Daniels asshole. Yeah. All right, bye guys. All right, later.